Connecticut, we are fortunate to have a Democratic Party, to have legislature that was very bold in taking the step before the leak. But what I do know now in the rallies that I've been to the last few weeks is that I'm not alone. I'm not alone as a woman. I'm not alone as a woman of color. I'm not alone as a person who is queer. I'm here as many, many voices saying that it's my body, my choice. When my parents came here, knowing that in Puerto Rico, some of our history when it comes to women, bodies, and choices are a little bit you know, gray, a little bit controversial. There was forced sterilization in 1937. There are a lot of conversations about what pregnancy looked like in Puerto Rico. Those controversies, again, here are not so. In Connecticut, we are standing strong, we are focused, and we're aligning with other states and making sure to let them know, use us as an example. Let us lead the way. Here we have opportunities. We know that this fight is real. We're not giving up and we have to stand for it every single time we go out to vote. But in Connecticut, I can stand beside so many women and men who know that our choices matter. Our vote matters. Our future matters.